So this morning I got up early, took my walk along the lake, came back up and joined the 745 morning prayer group on Zoom. Wonderful thing to do, wonderful way to start your day. And then I thought I'd take a walk over here because this is a beautiful spot overlooking a valley and you can see out in the horizon the lake. It's beautiful. can't really see it this morning because there's a, there's a there's a fog. I knew I couldn't see it, but I wanted to come over anyway. And it's a lovely spot, peaceful spot. But it made me think of Paul's words from 1 Corinthians 13, where it says, now we see through a glass dimly, darkly, imperfectly. But that's not always gonna be the case. I mean, let's just face it in life, we don't always see things as we want to see them, as clearly as we want to see them. And sometimes we, we fool ourselves into thinking we see things oh clearly, perfectly, wonderfully, but we just we just don't. And we forge ahead, perhaps impatiently, hurriedly, prematurely. Nah, I, I want to see the lake. It's beautiful. But in due time, the sun's going to come out and the fog's going to lift and I'll be able to see clearly. Maybe that's exactly what I need to do now, right? No, it, it, it's to be still and to be quiet and to open my heart to God's voice and to God's leading. And, and, and in due time, in due course, I'll be able to see more clearly and, and see the horizon, and see where it is that I'm supposed to go and where it is that God is calling me, calling us. So maybe we ought to look at sometimes when we can't see things so clearly as a gift, or maybe when the fog is here, it's a gift because we're just supposed to sit tight, be quiet, discern, listen, for God's voice to speak to us. And soon enough, that sun's gonna come out, that fog's gonna go, and we'll, we'll find our way and see where it is that God is calling us to go. So dear friends, I miss you dearly. I love you. Peace and blessings to all of you.